You're wondering how to set up a LinkedIn Insight tag so you can track conversions in your LinkedIn ads campaign, but you're either not sure where to start or you've set it up and you're not sure if you've done so properly. And let's face it, you want this sorted fast. Well, in this video, I'm challenging myself to set up my LinkedIn Insight tag and conversion tracking in under two minutes. Screw all those other 10 minute tutorials. And in those two minutes, you're gonna learn the easiest way to set up an Insight tag step by step, how to check that it's actually working and how to use that to set up conversion tracking. And after we've all found out if I can actually set this all up in under two minutes, I'm also gonna show you how you can use all that hard work setting that up to unlock the most powerful tool for skyrocketing ad performance on LinkedIn. So here's my timer. I'm gonna see if I can do this in two minutes. So let's go, boom. We're in the LinkedIn campaign manager. On the left-hand side, we go to analyze insight tag. There are three ways to install. You either send an email to your developer, easiest option, but I'm gonna show you the other two. So installing the tag yourself, you open this top section, you copy the code. If you're using any type of website builder, usually there's a settings area and you can input it right here. So you just press save. It's different on everyone, but principally it remains the same. If you're using Google Tag Manager, you come to your tag manager, you press new, you then press tag configuration, you scroll down and find LinkedIn Insight, and then you would copy from this section here, the partner ID, paste it, and your triggering is all pages, and then you'd press save. If you're using something like WordPress, you would again copy the code itself. You would come into WordPress, you can install an, uh, a plugin called WordPress Code Lite, L-I-T-E. On the left, you would click header and footer, and you would paste it into the footer here. That means our code is now installed. So to get the conversion tracking set up and to make sure we know this is working, we're gonna to go to conversion tracking here under analyze. We're gonna press create conversion website tag. We're gonna name it. So this is a thank you page. I'm gonna tell LinkedIn what that is. So they have booked an appointment. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the page that I want that conversion to trigger on. And this is gonna be this page so I know that they've uh, taken the action. I'm gonna leave this as is 37. I'm gonna change this option here to last touch, last campaign. We have 40 seconds left. I can in here select all the campaigns I wanna assign it to. I just want it to be to all campaigns. I'm gonna click next. Then we want it to load on page load. That's how we wanna get it set up. It's the easiest option. And we're gonna press here contains. I'm gonna put in the page that we want to be included and I'm gonna press create. Boom, we have technically done it in two minutes, just. I just wanna explain this. What's gonna happen is once that conversion's set up, it's gonna say unverified. Now what you need to do is you need to wait about like 10 minutes, 20 minutes for it to actually register. So you go to the page, you just reload the page. And once you've done that, after 10 minutes or so, this will switch to active. If it doesn't say active, it means it's not working. You use conversion tracking here and a conversion event to test if the, the insight tag is working. That is how you install an insight tag and set up conversion tracking. We did it. So we've done it. We've installed the insight tag and conversion tracking. But by doing that, as I said earlier, we've just unlocked one of the most powerful tools for skyrocketing your LinkedIn ads performance and I am going to explain how. So let's imagine there are two guys, Ben and Tony. Both are looking for a long-term relationship and they are both putting themselves out there. Ben goes into a bar every weekend and whenever he sees a girl that he likes, he walks up to her and immediately asks her to marry him. But all he gets is weird looks and rejection. But he doesn't understand why, because logically that's the outcome he wants, that's what he's asking, it kind of makes sense. But Tony, oh man, Tony, he gets it. He sees a girl he likes, walks up to her and opens with a joke. Entertains her, teaches her some things that she didn't know, asks questions about her so that you can figure out if they're even a good fit in the first place. And within a year, Tony's married, he's settled down with his ideal girl. Whereas Ben is completely demotivated, still going to that same bar, still experiencing rejection with no idea as to why. Building relationships and getting clients in business works in exactly the same way. Well, maybe not e exactly, but you, you get the idea. And you can replicate everything that Tony did by using what we just set up. 
Now, can you see the difference? Most people who run ads on LinkedIn are just like Ben. They run get a quote ads to people who have never heard of them. The top 1% of LinkedIn advertisers are like Tony. They don't go straight in for the kill. They build the relationship before going for the ask. So by installing our insight tag, it allows us to build audiences on LinkedIn of people who have viewed our website. Audiences allow you to create pots of people who are interested in your service, but still need time to build that relationship and trust with you. And as a bonus, this is how you can quickly set up an audience. So to create this audience, I'm gonna come into my campaign manager, click on plan and then audiences over here. Then I'm going to press create audience up here and we can, by the way, do this with our existing campaigns. So you can do it native to LinkedIn with single image or video, but the insight tag unlocks website, which is really powerful. So if they're viewing a website, they're probably interested. So I'm gonna create an audience, all website viewers. You can get detailed with this and do like thank you page viewers or sign up page viewers, but we're keeping it simple. We then press contains under match your URL because that's the easiest way if we're going for everyone. And then I'm just gonna copy the like base URL so that everyone who views any page is included in this audience. I'm gonna paste that in there and I'm gonna press create. That creates the audience. You can see there's no signal yet. This is another way, by the way, of checking your insight tag works. If we go to one of the pages and we reload it, it should then say active, but yet again, it takes a few minutes to work. So here's one we set up earlier, and as you can see, 30 minutes ago, it registered a signal. That shows you your insight tag and everything is working. Your tracking is now set up, but to ensure that you actually start getting the conversions, you need an irresistible offer, and you also need to make sure that everything else in the ad account is set up properly, which is why I'd suggest watching this video here, because it shows you how to do those things step by step. Additionally, when setting up a campaign, LinkedIn has some default options options selected which will tank the performance of your campaign. Trust me, it makes no sense, but if you're aware of it, you can avoid it. And this video covers those things so you can avoid the pitfall.